मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स वी परफॉर्म डेटा ड्रिवन ए पी आई टेस्टिंग एंड क्रिएटिंग और जेनरेटिंग टेस्ट डेटा माइट बी इजी और कॉम्प्लेक्स टास्क बेस्ड ऑन ए पी आई बट इट इज ऑलवेज गुड टू हैव टेस्ट डेटा एंड टेस्ट सेपरेट डेट मीन्स वी कैन स्टोर टेस्ट डेटा इन टू एनी एक्सटर्नल फाइल लाइक जेसन सी एस बी और एनी यूटिलिटी मैथड वेर वी आर जेनरेटिंग द टेस्ट डेटा रेंडमली एंड इन द टेस्ट वी कैन कॉल दीज यूटिलिटीज टू हैव माई टेस्ट डेटा फॉर ए पी आई इन मोस्ट ऑफ द ए पी आई टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन फ्रेमवर्क वी हैव मैकेजम टू अचीव दिस बट इन कार्टे फ्रेमवर्क वी कैन स्लाइटली डू इट बेटर यूजिंग ए स्पेशल टैग कॉल्ड एट सेटअप and in this video we are going to learn about ad setup annotation i am amod and welcome to my youtube channel the target common so here i am going to have a very simple scenario suppose i have a variable like json object here i will store some json data something like this and here in the next step i will simply print this if i run this scenario it will simply print the json object which you can see here in this scenario i have test data and test steps together i want to separate them so i have one option like create another scenario which will be responsible to generate the test data and we can call that scenario into our another scenario this concept i have already covered in my previous videos i'll get another scenario and i will copy paste this step here so now to call this test data generator scenario into this scenario which is my first scenario i need to use the tag here let me use data and instead of hard coding json object in the scenario itself i can use call read and here and to pass the tag of the scenario which i need to call that is data and if i run the first scenario it will get the test data from second scenario and it will print the json object which you can see here but now problem with this approach if i run this feature file let's see what happens you can see it has executed both the scenarios but ideally second scenario is not a test scenario it is responsible to generate the test data so in the last video I have covered about another special tag called at ignore that means we can use another tag for the data generator scenario called at ignore and if i run this feature file now this is not going to run the second scenario because at ignore tag will ignore that scenario from execution now you can see it has executed only one but carte framework provides a better way to handle these scenarios that means instead of using your custom tag or add ignore we can use another tag called setup and this is built in in karate framework let me show you what happens if i use this setup with the call lead and run the scenario so in this case also we can see it is giving me expected result and if i run the whole feature then let's see what happens so add setup actually worked like add ignore and you can see it has executed only one scenario but it is advisable to call any scenario tagged with add setup using another way called karate dot setup that means we can replace this statement using karate dot setup so by default this scenario will call the scenario which is tagged with add setup let me run this scenario and see what happens so in the console we can see it has executed two scenarios and it is printing json object for the first one for the second one we don't have anything so actually what would have happened here since we are using karate dot setup then this scenario looked for the scenario tagged with add setup and it directly called this scenario first executed it and stored into this json object which we are printing you might think that in the feature file we might have multiple setup scenarios that is true so let me create a duplicate scenario and here i will have the setup tag only but i am going to change my json object value maybe i'll put json object 1 and here i am going to remove 
four fields and I will keep only two fields. So in this case, what we are expecting that scenario one is going to call these two scenarios because we have add setup annotation for both the scenarios. Let me run scenario one and see what happens. And if you see the log, it is printing the JSON object given by first setup scenario. It has not given anything for the second setup scenario. So before I run again, I am going to put one and two here. And this time, I am going to cut this scenario and paste it below. That means first we have generate test data two, then we have generate test data one. Let me run the scenario again. And if you see the console this time, it has executed generate test data two. And if you see the log of the test, it is showing the JSON object one. So when we have multiple setup tags in a feature file, then karate.setup will call the first setup scenario found. It will ignore all other setup scenarios. But now you might think we might have multiple scenarios where we need to have different date of setup. So it is very obvious that we are going to have multiple setup. I am going to duplicate this and going to put here and I will change the description too. So here I have one scenario, then I have a setup scenario, then I have a second scenario and here I have second setup scenario. Let me run the second one. Let's see what happens, which setup annotation scenario it calls. So you can see it has called the first setup annotated scenario itself. So it doesn't matter from where you are calling, but if you are using karate.setup, it is going to call only the first setup annotated scenario. So now you might be thinking what is the solution with multiple setup scenarios. For that, we can give the names to our setup scenarios. That means here I can use equal to and give the name like data1. Similarly, here I can put equal to data2. Now if I want to call for this scenario data2, so I need to copy this name and put in setup method. Similarly, for the second scenario, I want to call data1. Now let me run the first scenario first and this time you can see it has called the expected setup scenario. And let me show you one example which will be the best usage of add setup annotation. So here we can see we have a JSON file where I have a JSON array and here I have two, two JSON objects and this JSON file we are calling in this scenario outline and this is the way we read any JSON file or CSV file. If I run this scenario, we can see it, it will print two rows because we have two JSON objects into JSON array. Here you can see it has been executed twice and it is printing the details, whatever we have in JSON file. It might be possible whatever JSON data we read, we need to do some manipulation on that. So maybe we have another scenario where we will read this JSON file and perform some modifications. So let me create a scenario. Before I do anything, I will simply print the JSON payloads. I am going to use annotation called add setup. So this time, instead of writing this much code, I can use karate dot setup dot this JSON payloads. Because if I write this much only, it will give me a JSON object. Inside that, I will have this key. But I want to use the data present in this JSON file. So I am writing the JSON path to extract the actual data coming from JSON. Let me run this scenario. So here you can see it has executed the data setup first and then we see two scenarios from the scenario outline. Using this way, we can manipulate the values coming from JSON. Like here we have hard coded values, but if you want to change the value, then we can use this scenario to change that value. That means I can write simple JSON path like JSON payloads and I want to set the ID value for the first JSON object. For that, I will use payloads of 0 dot ID equal to 1. Now if I run this scenario, it should use ID value as 1 instead of null. So here you can see execution is over and if you see the output of first row, it is ID as 1. Suppose I have another scenario outline and for that scenario outline also, I am going to use same set of data. So let me change the scenario name. So this time I have two scenario outline and for both I am using the carte.setup. Let me run 
the feature file. So here you can see it has called this data setup twice. So instead of calling it twice, we can restrict it to call only once. For that, we need to use karate dot setup once and it will run the feature file. And this time you can see it has called this data setup only once. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.